Alrighty, so here we are. Um, everything's installed, of course, but what I failed to mention in my last video that might be a little helpful was um, this metal ring here holds in the whole pump contraption. And uh, I've seen on other videos where they've had different types. This one has a spinning metal ring. Another one had kind of like a... Uh, geez, I don't even know what the term is called, but it's like a C-clamp or a compression ring or something. Um, anyway, I tried to get this long screwdriver and put it against this uh, part right here, the stronger part of that metal ring. And, you know, I tried to bang it out with, you know, I used a sledgehammer, but uh, I tapped it out is what I did. And it would only go about a quarter of an inch. So what I did was um, I soaked it all with WD-40 all up and around under there. And what I winded up having to do was um, get a couple pairs of channel locks. And then I put one side of it underneath that same strong part of that ring. And then the other top part, uh, oops, the other top part was on this metal flange that comes out of the tank. And I squeezed that. So I put one here, and then one here as well. Two pairs of channel locks and squeezed them at the same time, and it popped right off. I've had this pump in for about a week, I just wanted to say. Um, I wanted to test and make sure that it ran properly before I sealed this whole thing back up you know that it was functioning properly and that um and that the sending unit in particular was uh registering correctly on the gauge in the dash so i know um, exactly where it's going to run out of gas in the future uh, what i plan on doing right now is uh showing you how i intend to bend this back and repair it in my own redneck way <laughs> Okay, so I bent that back best I could. Um, it will be a little deformed, so don't worry about that. Um, but uh, I took measurements of the outside of that, went out to my shed and found this old sign. And the measurements that I need to stay on the outside circumference of those cuts um, is uh, 13 inches straight across and then 11 down. So it's pretty close to a square and I'm going to go throw this on a piece of plywood and use the cutoff wheel that I used to make that hole in the floor and uh, rip this out real quick. Okay, got my piece of metal cut out and um, here I'll just turn it over here and it looks, looks a little cleaner that way, put the dog underneath. But I got to stop and say, um, make sure and wear safety glasses if you use this cutoff wheel method with any of this. Uh, I was wearing safety glasses and, and one of these um, dust masks as well. And a piece of uh, aluminum from this, from this plate found its way up in between my safety glasses and everything. Still got my eye. I think I got it all out though. I washed it out and everything's good. Um, but anyway, here's the screws I'm going to use. I'm going to try to use the shorter one. I've got on the left is 5 8 and on the right is half inch. They're number 10 self-tapping screws. And uh, if I can get this camera on here right. And I'm going to try to put them in here without drilling, you know, pilot holes or anything. But if they get a little squirrely, I might have to. All right. Well, that actually went pretty seamless. I <laughs> mean... It's always nice to end a job and something go smooth, so. And I'm talking about putting down this plate. I used this regular 18 volt uh, cordless DeWalt drill, put it on its low setting, and then just watched my pressure that I applied to the screws. And they went ahead and tapped right through both um, pieces of metal, no problem. Created a pretty uh, solid platform and I didn't wind up using the 5 8 at all. I just used the uh, half inch. So, very happy with the way this went. And if it needs it again, obviously all I gotta do is remove some screws and a, and a plate. Um, in closing, what I'm gonna do, the final thing I'm gonna do is get some silicone and just squirt it inside these holes. They're about, they look bigger than they are right here on camera, but they're, um, they're about a quarter inch deep. And then, just put it all the way around 
the whole thing in case water decides to splash up underneath or something. So I hope this was helpful and um, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it.